What's going on guys, GSNO right here. So in today's video, we're talking about the Saigon Jailbreak beta that has finally been released as an IPA. So at this point, if you're running iOS 10.2.1 on iPhone 6 or 6 Plus and so on, you no longer need to use Xcode on Mac OS in order to build the jailbreak to use it. You can just take the IPA and use it in Cydia in Pactor. You know this programming here that looks like this and it's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So let's just go ahead and talk about it. 25 minutes ago I made this video in here in which I talked about the possible iOS 10.3.1 support on Saigon which is probably upcoming according to the website so go ahead and watch this one if you didn't. Literally eight minutes after I started uploading this video after I edited it and started uploading it the website has changed again into download beta in this video in here you can see there was no beta available but again just a couple minutes after i uh, started uploading the um, ios 10.2.1 beta ipa has been released and you can see you can download it right now as an ipa and use it on um, i think iphone 6 and 6 plus currently because it says in here that those um, devices have been tested but you can try it on an iphone sc and on an iphone 6s or an ipad air 2 as well since it's compatible theoretically but it has not been tested so if you test it on a device that hasn't been tested by the developer and you find any errors or issues just go ahead and tell the uh, developer about them and he can fix them after a week without any activity on saigon jailbreak it's a nice surprise to see the first beta available finally in here now guys i want you everybody to go ahead and follow this guy in here abraham mass he is the developer of the Saigon jailbreak and he's been working nuts on this jailbreak lately. So just go ahead and you know follow him and stay updated with his releases. And if you have any questions, you can as well tweet to him. Just keep it short. So yeah. That's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to, to show you. The fact that the beta is available for the moment. Unfortunately, the beta does not support the iOS 10.3.1. And the iOS 10.3.1 has currently been removed from the title in here um, just to, you know, not confuse people. But it's still shown up in here. The iPhone 6 says iOS 10.3.1, but it says not yet. So I talked with the developer and he told me he does not have any device to test on 10.3.1 for the moment. Um, but um, he is apparently not using the KPP less method, as far as I understood from uh, from the conversation. Uh, but the uh, the same KPP bypass from iOS 10.2.1 might work on 10.3.1, according to some people. He said. Now I do not know, but keep in mind this is a beta jailbreak, so it might be buggy. And even if it works for your device, even if your device is one of these devices that do work you might as well want to to wait a little bit more for the uh, the jewelry to become stable but this is the first public beta available as an ipa so i'm pretty glad for it and again go ahead and follow the developer he definitely deserves to be followed and definitely deserves some thanks if you have the time that's pretty much it guys do not forget to subscribe to stay updated when you subscribe here you're going to also have a button with a bell icon if you click it you're going to be able to stay updated and get notifications when i upload something so that you get the news at first and you do not have to wait up until YouTube decides to show you that I uploaded something. So just go ahead and press that bell um, on mobile as well. It's definitely helping. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe again to stay updated and peace.